I'm filming. Why is this a thing? Stop texting me when I'm filming. Hmm. Remind you of summer or make you think of summer in some way. That's literally what I just said. Jan, get it together. I forgot their names. Clearly it was not that, you know, memorable for me. I think... Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday. It was originally created by Ginger Reads Laney, and it's now taken over by Sam from Thoughts on Tome, so I'll leave both their links down below, as well as the Goodreads group for Top 5 Wednesday. The topic for this Top 5 Wednesday is summer reads, so this could be beach reads, or fun reads, or any book that reminds you of summer that you associate with summer in whatever way. So, without further ado, let us get started! <sighs> the first books that I have are actually part of a series, and they are the Au Pair series by Melissa Della Cruz. The cover just says summer. It just says summer. The books follow three girls, Mara, Jackie, and Eliza, and it's basically their summer together as au pairs for the super rich family. I think I gave each of the books three stars. They weren't really that memorable to me. I read them last year. I have a review up if you want to check it out. It just screams summer. This is the first book. It's called The Au Pairs. And then the second book is Skinny Dipping. The third book is Sun Kissed. And the fourth and last book is Crazy Hot. And all of them just look like summer to me. I mean, girls in bathing suits. You can't do that in winter, so summer. The next book I haven't actually read yet, but it is That Summer by Sarah Dessen. It has summer in the title. So, I mean, like, summer. And also just these are like the sunglasses that I wear, so I liked it. So I bought it. And also I always buy Sarah Dessen books, which makes no sense because I've never read a Sarah Dessen book in my life. I think I read one in like grade seven. But for some reason, I just have to have all the Sarah Dessen books. I don't know why. I hate myself. I don't know. The third book that I chose for this Top 5 Wednesday is The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han. I'm too lazy to bring out the other two books. But this is just like a really cute summer read. I think I gave each of them four stars, maybe this one five stars. I can't remember. I read them like two years ago. But it's just like your typical summer read. Like you have to read this during the summer. You can't read it in the winter. It just doesn't work the same way. Next book is The Vacationers by Emma Strobe. This is actually the first book that I won off of Goodreads, so it holds a very special place in my heart. I believe I gave it a four out of five stars. It follows the Post family when they go on vacation, and it's basically their very dysfunctional family but they all decide that they're gonna go on this vacation and try to work things out and it's just a really funny book. It made me laugh and it's just, it's very summery. I mean, they're in a pool. I mean, people mostly go on vacations in the summer, so you know, summer vacation, summer read. And the, the final book that I am putting on my list for summer reads is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I actually just read this book for the ribs set around eight. If you wanna check out my full thoughts, Here's my wrap up, you know. Check it out, whatever side it's on. I don't know. I don't know how cards work. I'm pretty sure it's on that side because it's reversed when I point every time. So I'm going to say it's on that side. This book follows Emily and Sloan, and they have planned this huge summer together. And then Sloane disappears. Sloane ends up leaving this list of 13 items or things that Emily has to complete and Emily believes that this is going to lead her back to Sloane. I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars. It's super cute and I really enjoyed it. And if you want to hear my full thoughts, you know, go check out the wrap-up. Alright guys, so that was my Top 5 Wednesday Top 5 Summer Reads. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Here's by Emma Strobe. I really hope that's her name. It is. Strobe. Strobe. One of those two. But I run up. I run. Yep. Okay. This is a book. Fuck. That's almost a swear word. <sighs> is her name Emily? Yeah. Okay, that would have been awkward. Whew.